first two days of practice going? It's been great. Uh, great competition. Um, everybody's bonding together, and um, we're really getting after it. Xavier, you're kind of stepping into a role where you know you lost guys like Charleston Rambo, Mike Harley. How have you seen yourself stepping into those roles, and what are your expectations for your wide receiver group this year? I've just been doing whatever coach asked me. Um, we're just ready to get to work day three, practice three on Monday. I've just really worked on my whole entire game this offseason, so I'm just ready to step on the field and perform. What have you seen from some of the younger guys, uh, Jacoby, Brashard, uh, Romello, you know, what have you seen from them? Those guys are great. Those guys are uh, ball hawks when the ball's in the air, they go get it. You guys need somebody to step up who can stretch the field and, and you know, kind of play the role that Rambo played last year. Do you see that out of any of these guys that are in the room with you? Do you see them? I actually see that out of all the guys. You know, um, all the guys are really intentional about everything they do. Um, we obviously have to, you know, get in the playbooks more, but everybody's doing a great job. What's your assessment on the offense these first few days, just from an execution standpoint? It looks like it's going to be a really fun year. Why? Why do you say that? Like, in what way? I mean, Coach Gad is just, Coach Gad is one of those players' coaches, you know, um, yeah. really cares for his players, and uh, it's just, it'll be fun playing for him, for a coach that cares so much. How has Coach Gaddis had an impact on you? Oh, he's taught me so much. Uh, he taught me so much more about football than I could ever thought. You know, um, I mean, from start of line of scrimmage, pre-play to post-play. So I'm really thankful for that. You're, you're, you're a guy that's very hard on yourself. We can, we can see that. Yes, um, is that. Is that a good thing? Is that sometimes are you too hard on yourself? Oh, I'm yeah, sure. I mean, I, I've been like that my whole life, so I think it's a good thing. <laughs> you think it's a good yes, thing? Yes, ma'am. When you, when you, I know yesterday, I guess there were some drops. I saw you had one, other people had them. Do you have? How are you doing getting over that quickly? You know what I mean? Or is it kind of... You know, um, I mean, football is all about, you know, short-term memory. Um, right. Move on to the next play, play the next play, and uh, obviously just do extra work on the jugs and stuff like that after practice. Does Tyler, I know you're very close with Tyler. Um, how has he been with the receivers in his new role? I mean, now he's a definite starter when he comes in and your relationship with him. I mean, like I said, we've been... Uh, roommates ever since freshman year, so me and his relationship is like this. Right. Um, he keeps the receivers in check, obviously. And yeah, we're just getting to work. Is he demanding with you guys? Like you said, keeps you guys in check. How does he do that? Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Um, I mean, he'll step in our meeting one day and just check the entire, entire receiver core. Um, however we take it, we take it. We obviously take it as motivation that um, the quarterback is coming in the room and addressing us, so we just take that and run with it. Well, I'm not asking you specifically what he says, but what's that like when he comes in? Is it just to kind of say you guys are doing great or you guys aren't doing as well? Or, well, you know what I mean? Does he give you advice when he comes in the room? Yeah, no, no. I mean, it's just, you know, uh, neutral self-talk, um, just telling us, let's go. Next day, new opportunities, that's it, perform. Last one, I, I, I want to, I just asked Tyreek, I know you have Canes Fest now. Uh, do you like that kind of thing, talking to the fans? Uh, is that important? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, definitely being in a hometown, this is why you come to the U. Um, I was a kid in their shoes one, one day, um, so just being on the opposite side of that, signing things, is just a great opportunity, and I'm super thankful. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'll take the mic from you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate it.